The state tournament series has begun for area tennis and golf teams. Golfers hit the links at University Ridge in Madison on Monday for the first of the two-day state tournament. Waukesha's Emily Jores fired a 73 on the first day to lead the field. Jores won the state tournament as a freshman and took second place last year as a sophomore. Tennis players from the area learned their fate when the WIAA released brackets for the individual state tennis tournament beginning Thursday at Nielsen Tennis Stadium in Madison. Homestead has three of the top nine seeded singles players in the field and also boasts the number one seeded doubles team in Sophia Lococo and Carly Peck. But they're not the only ones looking for gold in Madison this weekend. Sister duo Aaron and Sarah Miller of Nicolet is seeded number two in the field. At number five, you'll find Caroline Trice and Brooks Scamp of Brookfield Central. And at number seven, Sophie Carr and Simone Hussusian of Brookfield East. In soccer, Muskego put the wraps on an undefeated conference season. Since 2006, they're 47-1 and in the Southeast Conference. That doesn't mean they have a top seed in the upcoming soccer playoffs. In fact, they're seeded third behind Waukesha West and Kettle Moraine. Menominee Falls, on the other hand, will carry a top seed into the playoffs, which begin Tuesday afternoon and continue Thursday. The big football games of the week lived up to top billing. Waukesha West knocked off Arrowhead with a late touchdown to win by one score in the Classic 8. And in the Southeast, Mosquito couldn't quite hang on against Kenosha Bradford in a battle of undefeateds. This week, we've got a big one in the North Shore with Homestead challenging local rival Germantown. The Highlanders, of course, have a 68-game winning streak in conference play, but Germantown did go ahead and beat Homestead last year in Level 2 of the WIAA playoffs. Check out my stab at how the postseason brackets will lay out in my annual bracketeering column on the Preps Alcove at livinglakecountry.com. And don't forget to follow all your teams throughout the postseason at mycommunitynow.com.